Hi guys, it's uh, Wednesday again, so it's time to unbox some chase cars, and today it's going to be super, because we're unboxing super chase square bodies, four of them to be exact, and an ultra red chase square body. I also brought along my super treasure hunt square body to kind of have the Hot Wheels chase in here, along with the M2s and the Auto World. The Hot Wheels is already loose, as you can see here. Um, we'll take it out of this pr little Protecto package thing they call brick rods to kind of get a closer look at it. And this is a very sweet casting. Uh, Hot Wheels, as I said before in one of my videos, I really enjoy their uh, casting of the 83 Silverado. They did a really good job on this truck. Uh, for as I said before, just a little $1 Hot Wheel. They did a superb job on this. Um, and as I said, it don't even have to be the Super. Just the regular basic main line truck is beautiful. I actually like this one more than the overrated RLC one. I do have it in America. The Real Riders, the green one with the chrome sides. I don't really care too much for the white wall tires. I think that's why I'm a little bit uh, negative on that one. But uh, it, it's a nice casting and all. But as I said, I do dig this one the most out of the Hot Wheels versions um, for rubber tires. The Decades one is actually really nice too. It's a red and white two-tone, uh, really nicely done. But it has just a black wall plastic wheels. So there's the Hot Wheels one. And I've got the first four Majos here. Um, I have more coming, but uh, unfortunately because of the quarantine, it may be a while before we get them here. So uh, I usually do get all the super chases of these square bodies when they arrive here. So um, I will be unboxing, hopefully, uh, the Majo exclusive one without the bed and also the purple m2 hobby exclusive coming up and a few other ones uh the one with the red hauler the chevy hauler with the square body hopefully that one will be unboxing with the chase version here pretty soon i'm hoping by the end of april beginning of may so anyways i still have a lot of stuff to unbox that you guys haven't seen yet so i'm not going to run out of stock anytime soon so let's go ahead and start getting these guys out of the boxes. So we'll start here with the Goodyear Super Chase. It's one of 300 in the world. Um, gold wheels, gold trim, gold interior. And what's cool about the Majo packages from M2 is yes, they have these stickers that kind of seal it closed as you can see I'm peeling it off. I've already had these guys out once before for photos because it's so easy to open them. It's like a protector pack. Just flips open. It's not sealed shut like the regular M2 clamshells. And another thing cool about the Majo clamshells, it's not just on a base. It actually comes in the full acrylic case like um, the M2s inside the boxes do. Like so, these are really, really nice. Easy to open, easy to take out for photo opportunities, and easy to put back in so they're easy to display on your wall. And that's usually what I do with these guys because I'm running out of room for loose cars. Um, but I do take these out occasionally for photos. Very cool truck. This is my only step side that I have is the Goodyear M2. I don't have the Auto World yet, um, but I do have this Goodyear. I have two regular versions and I have this Chase version. So uh, I like the step side trucks, but I'm more of a fleet side fan, so it doesn't really bother me to only have one in my collection. But still, yet, I definitely want to get more. And I have a couple more ordered, just waiting for the quarantine to end to get them. So, there she is off the stand. Black base. Gold bumpers. Gold wheels. Gold trim. And your gold interior. 
gold grill, everything. Nice looking truck. So, let's go ahead and switch it up and get the Outer World out of its package. This is the release A of the 4x4 version. And it's the Ultra Red paint, white chassis, and Ultra Red interior. So let's get him opened up and get a better look at him. So I don't have the two wheel drive version in Ultra Red. I have the regular versions, but not the Ultra Red. So hopefully one day I'll be able to get my hands on one of them. So this red, I love the Ultra Red paint. It's beautiful. Candy Apple Red. Gorgeous truck. And these are believable, like it could be a real truck. Like the gold trim on the Myjos and M2s is over the top, but it's a chase truck, so it's perfectly fine with me. But this, like the green paint, uh, green machines, it's, you know, acceptable. You could see this actually on the road, and it wouldn't be uh, that big of a deal. Looks like there's a little tiny paint flaw on the roof. No big deal. Very nice looking truck. So let's put him down here with the Hot Wheels. So there you go. You got an M2 Hot Wheels and Auto World Chase Square Bodies. And let's get these other three My Joes out. Um, and do the Auto Edelbrock next. And I do really like this one, but my favorite is that black and white one you see in front of you still. And there's the Edelbrock. I love the wheels on this. Actually, the Edelbrock and the Goodyear has the best looking wheels, in my opinion. These five spoke Kragers or American Racing, whatever you want to call them. Beautiful wheels. This is a really cool truck. Actually, I like these five spokes so much, I did a base swap, which you've seen in the other video on my black and white one it's got the edelbrock base with the five spokes which that's like the perfect truck in my opinion black and white two-tone paint a red interior and chrome five spokes it's very nice looking truck so there is the edelbrock very cool Even the back panel is gold on this one. Nicely detailed, nice job in two and my Joe on these. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and open up my favorite one. Yeah, I love these M2 my Joe packages. I wish M2 would take <clears throat> notes and do this on their regular production but I think what they're worried about is theft in the stores it would be too easy for people to pop them open and steal them if they have these like clamshell style packages get this focused in on the black and white there you go it's got the split five spokes still good looking but I like the regular five spokes better very cool truck. Even the gold trim around the white insert. Beautiful. 1973 license plate. Very cool truck. Let's get him off the base. Get a better look at him. So there you go, beautiful truck. Grills are nicely done and detailed. Smoked headlights, smoked tail lights. Very cool truck. 
Yeah, this is my favorite one so far, I think. The favorite color combination and everything. Now, there are some by the Square Body Indicate Syndicate that I don't have because of my location. I'm not by any of the Walmart stores, so I can't get those Square Body Syndicate ones. A couple of those have some really cool, like, basic paint jobs. That's what I like, is just a basic paint job with the truck lower and have big wheels on it. I think they look great. Actually, the Edelbrock extras that I have and the Goodyear extras that I have, I'm going to get a dry erase marker and actually take the tampos off the Goodyear and the Edelbrock. I have doubles of them, so I figured why not, just to make them like a standard two-tone paint job. And I think they will look great like that. So. Maybe uh, after the quarantine, I will do something like that in one of my videos. Kind of just do the dry erase marker where we all can witness it together and see how it works. Um, so, I don't know why this Goodyear one, even on my regular casting, sometimes the hood pops up just a little bit like you see here and it doesn't close too well. But if you screw around with it enough, it will close all the way eventually. So usually open. And what's cool, as I pointed out before with these M2s, are the LS motor. Like it's an LS swapped truck, uh, lowered, tubbed, with the big fat tires, very cool. See, there it goes. It's closed now, but as I said, you have to open it all the way, then close it again. It still has a little area where it's kind of up just a hair. Um, it's only on the Moon Eyes ones that, I've, that I have anyways. Moon equipped hood. Gold trim, gold wheels. Cool looking truck. I like this one better than the regular version because I'm not much on the black wheels on this one, but I did base swap it with one of my white and black ones. So it has uh, chrome split five spokes. And actually what I wanted to do with this Edelbrock, and I'll take some photos on Instagram later because I have these real small Edelbrock boxes which are going to look really cool in the bed of the Edelbrock truck. So you guys can get a look at that. That is actually really cool looking. That I take some great pictures later on. Um, so yeah, there's the Edelbrock, the moon eyes, and then the black and white square body. Then you have your Ultra Red Auto World. And then your Hot Wheels, which I'll put him out front here. Then there's the Goodyear Step Side and the Super Treasure Hunt. So that's our unboxing for today, guys. We did four very limited trucks. There are only one of 300 each in the world. So, the Ultra Red, I think they made 8,500 of each version A and B, so that's 17,000. And if you do 2% of that, there's going to be about 340 of them. So, there's actually more Ultra Reds than there are of the Myjo trucks. Uh, and then, as we all know, the Super Treasure Hunts are mass-produced, but since it is a hot item, they're hard to find. So, this is it for Wednesday. This weekend, uh, on Saturday, we'll be doing another comparison video. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Maybe something to do with Christine. I have um, the Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, and Auto World versions of that car. Fortunately, I don't have the green light to put in the mix, but I do have these three, and we can take a look at them, possibly. But that's not guaranteed yet. I'm going to go with Christine, but uh, it's looking promising. So 
Tune back in on Saturday, see what we're going to compare, and then if you have not subscribed yet, please remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos because there will always be unboxings of these rare, hard to find, valuable chase cars. So, thanks for watching, take care.